This video series will show you the steps and materials needed to implement PEAS learning activities in your classroom. Remember, each PEAS unit has four learning activities that follow the process of science. What do you know? What do you wonder? What more do you want to know? And what have we learned? In this set of activities, your classroom will explore living things. Living things must consume energy in the form of food, grow, adapt, reproduce, and respond to their environment, while non-living things do not. It can be challenging to identify things as living or non-living because many living things do not exhibit all characteristics of a living thing during all stages of life. In addition, some things were living but are now not living. For example, vegetables are living prior to being harvested, but after harvest they are no longer living. Since vegetables are living, they provide vitamins, minerals, and fiber that are critical to healthy growth and development. It is important for children to understand the difference between living and non-living things and make comparisons between the two by observable characteristics, which will be taught in this unit. When teaching the Living Things unit in your classroom, you will want to follow along with the page-by-page -page script located in the Peace Teaching Guide to see how the four activities should be performed. The goal of Activity 2 is to expand children's learning by asking, what do we wonder? For this activity, you will need the following materials. The documentation panel from Activity 1 listing class-generated characteristics of living things. Two large sheets of paper, 25 by 30 inches, for the prediction panel. Three photographs or real examples of living or once living things, such as pea seeds, spinach leaves, or an insect three real examples of non-living things, three by five inch photographs of each of the three living things and three non-living things, a photograph of a grasshopper and grasshopper nymph, as well as a seed and plant, two small boxes for observing materials, stickers or sticky notes, six observation jars, three small rocks, one packet of pea seeds, magnifying glasses, science journals, and coloring and writing utensils. Before starting the activity, you will need to prepare the documentation panel by writing the learning activity question, is it living, at the top. Below the question, create a chart with seven rows and six columns. On the left side of each row, attach the image of your living and non-living items. Next, label each column with one characteristic of living things previously identified by the class. See documentation panel from activity one. Before part two, prepare the prediction panel by writing the learning activity question, is it living, at the top. Below the question, create a chart with seven rows and four columns. On the left side of each row, attach the image of your living and non-living items. Next, label column one as living, column two as non-living, and column three as still need to explore. Older preschool children can also create a Venn diagram or two large overlapping circles to represent class predictions. During this activity, introduce the word predict, or in Spanish, predecir, to guess about what we think will happen. Or in Spanish, adivinar lo que creemos que sucederá. Start with the documentation panel from activity one in case you need to add more responses. To observe living and non-living things, bring out the two observation boxes, one with three living things and one with three non-living things. You should ask children fair questions that they can answer by observing the living and non-living things, such as, can the seed make more of itself or babies? Want to predict if something is living or non-living? Pass around two small boxes, one with seeds and the other with small rocks, and fill out the prediction panel. For the experiment, set up three jars containing three pea seeds and water. The other three jars contain a small rock and water. Over the next one to two days, have children draw the changes that they see in their science journals. At the end of the experiment, you are looking for growth from the pea seed, 